In this section of this lesson, we're going to create the gallery layout. It's very simple. We're going to use a table uh, and make it one by three. So that's the next part of this lesson. Click. Make sure you're clicked inside the wrapper. If your screen is not split, okay. Design live, right. Right, if your screen is not split, then split it so that you can see the white area which shows you what's happening on the page and the black area which shows you what's happening in the code. And what you want to make sure is that you are within the div area, the wrapper area. So if you look down in your code, you see div ID, this area here, div ID wrapper. Within that, you've got some words that say content for ID wrapper goes here. Just delete that. And then in, at this point, you're going to insert a table. To insert the table, click Insert, Table. The table box comes up. You want a table that is actually three, two rows by three columns. That will help us get to where we're going. The table should be approximately a thousand wide, a thousand pixels wide. Leave the border to show for now. We can remove that at the later date and click OK. Now, the table is there, but we can't see it. The only way right now that you know the table is there, there it is, there's our table. And if you look in the code, you'll see that you've got a table tag here, and that's where the table starts and finishes. And what we want to do with the table is ensure that it's aligned centrally. So what we want to do is click outside the table, go down to your HTML area, and see if we can align this table centrally. We want it to be centered, so there you go. It's centered. So in order to make the gallery, we need to pull this down, so draw it down, and bring it down to create an area for the main display and an area for the thumbnails. So you also need to merge these three columns, these three boxes. So highlight the boxes by dragging across the three boxes and going down to the icon here at the bottom of the property inspector. Um, and if your property inspector is not showing, just simply go to Windows and ensure that there's a tick by properties. Your property inspector will now show. So you highlight these three boxes and then you go down to merge cells and that cell now becomes one. So this is where your main image will sit and this is where your thumbnails will sit, so that you've got an image gallery. If your code is getting in the way, just draw the window down. So what you want to do, just have a nice little area. So that's stage two. Now what we need to now do is to put the images in. So this is for the big image, this is for the thumbnail, thumbnail, and thumbnail. I think the thumbnails are approximately 200 by 200. So click in a cell and go down to the property inspector and you will see that there's a width and a height. So what you want to do is ensure that the widths are approximately 200. Or the height, actually. Let's make the heights all 200. So simply highlight the three cells, drag across them, go down to height, and make them 200. That way it gives it some consistency. Just click away from there, and you've got your thumbnail boxes ready for their images. So what we're now going to do is insert the images. So click in the first thumbnail box. Ensure that the image is centered horizontally and vertically. When you click in it, go down to the property inspector. Make sure you're on CSS. Horizontal, center, vertical, middle. And do that for each of the cells to ensure that the image sits properly. Go down to the property inspector, CSS, horizontal, center, vertical, middle. And do that again for the last one. CSS, property inspector, horizontal, center, vertical, middle. Now you can insert your images. Click. Now if your images are outside the image image um, file that for your, for your site, don't worry. On saving it, it will bring it in. So before we actually insert the images, let's save the file so that it's actually saved within your site. So go to File. Save as, 
make sure you're in the right folder, gallery show, and then simply give it a name. This is the gallery. Once you've done that, click save. Now, if you've done it correctly, you should be able to see in your site folder the gallery file, and that's what's exactly here. Now you're ready to insert your images. So click in the first thumbnail box, insert image. Now go and find your images. I downloaded some images earlier, and I hope they're still on here. Yeah, I hope so. Um, the first image I want to download is this one. It's 200 by 200. There it goes. That's the first thumbnail. Click in the second box, insert the second thumbnail image. Go to where the images are. Now I think, I hope I have another thumbnail. 200 by 200. That's another one, 200 by 200. Click it open. So that's one thumbnail, two thumbnails. And click in the third box to insert the third thumbnail. Now I'm going to have to do a little bit of a jig here because some of my thumbnails I used earlier. So they're hiding somewhere else. So excuse me a minute while I try and get them together. Right, the third thumbnail I want is this one. So let me do a Command A, Command Copy. I'm going to drop them back into Downloads. Command Paste. Okay, I'm going to just replace all of them so that I can actually use them. So the third image I need is probably this one. I hope it's 200 by 200. And let's minimize that. So click in the third box, go to insert image. Go to downloads where your images may have been downloaded or to whichever file you put them in. Look for it and insert it. So I've got my three thumbnails, one, two, three, already. So what I now need to do is put in the main image that should be there, the first main image. So the first thumbnail is this one, so the first aim, main image will correspond to that. But again, when you click into that box, ensure that you go down to the property inspector, make sure you're on CSS, and horizontally center and vertically center. Once you've done that, you're now ready to insert the final image before we now do some um, image swapping. So image, you've got to find the image that is similar to this one. So make sure you go into downloads, look for the larger version of that image, which is this one here. Click it and click open. Ooh, that's a bit big. That image is a wee tad bit big. So I'm going to try and bring it down a bit. Let's try and resize that down. It's a wee bit big for what I want, so let's take it down and bring this back up. Right, that's better. So that is the layout for my gallery at the moment. That's what it's looking like. So this image, so what we want to happen is when you move over this image, this, this should appear. When you move over this image, this image should change to show the bigger version of this. And when you move over this image, this image should change to show the bigger version of this. But that's the second stage. We've set up the gallery, and it's ready now for image swapping.